Hi, I'm Craig Lund. I uh, work with Bitware, and I'm going to introduce some sheet metal changes. This is a Dell C4130, which is a very popular unit uh, for people that want density for GPU compute. The problem with it for FPGA compute is that people who do FPGA compute tend to want a networking port to show through. FPGA compute people like to connect the FPGAs to FPGAs, maybe in the same box, maybe in another rack, that avoid some of the complexities of PCI bus. So, with some blessing from Dell, we've created a whole other set of front uh, sheet metal on the front that allows the um, QSFPs that are found on uh, pretty much any, it doesn't have to be full size, but these are full size uh, bitware board, to, uh, to shine through. And we've done a whole lot of testing uh, to validate that uh, the power, which again, remember, was designed for GPU, which can be pretty odd, uh, is just fine. And so it's the only way we know of to get real dense FPGA compute where you actually need uh, to cluster the things together. Now, you'll see there's a lot more connectors here than four boards. Just happens that some of our cards have an expansion port which allow you with another little circuit board to create another four QSFPs per card. That's of interest in the uh, networking market. There are people that are doing 100 gig networking problems where it's all in the FPGA and back out the FPGA and they would like as many 100 gig networking ports as they can get in a 1U form factor. And so, same box, add the little card and the ribbon cable, get a lot more QSFPs, and if you happen to be in that category of lots and lots of 100 gigs, you can do that too. So this is new for us uh, at this event. Other things we've had in the past, this is more of a packet broker, card's missing, but the 400 gig ports would go here, the card would go here, and then this is a whole bunch of um, 1025 ports. So you can make a packet broker out of it, basically. Pa packets come in, either go to the motherboard for processing and out somewhere, or inside the FPGA, you can send them back out these kinds of ports. When I say packet broker, I mean any kind of an algorithm you might associate with a packet broker. This guy, it's actually one of our partners, LDA, this is uh, for the net high performance uh, the financial trading market. So here you have your um, your little coaxes for very accurate timestamps, which by the way you can get on any of these boxes if you need it. Um, but basically this is a very, very fast matrix switch that also does uh, TCP offload and things on the FPGA card. So again, the FPGA card's missing, um, but it would go here, and then that same expansion port that we used over here to get to this, and we used over there to get to the extra QSFPs, is used here to get to the matrix switch. So three different ways of putting FPGAs in a specialized manner into chassis. Thank you. You're welcome.